So I think that the main thing with this is to, uh, to really understand the platforms in the wider context. So I did, um, I listen to every year Hootsuite do a kind of trend forecasting thing for the year coming. So they just did their 2021 trend, trend forecasting and everyone goes, is Facebook dead? It's, you know, what your mum uses. No, it's got the biggest user base. Um, it controls Instagram and it controls WhatsApp and you now have WhatsApp for business and you'll probably be able to advertise through WhatsApp and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, Facebook is, is, amazing when you use it right and and it's the same with instagram and and twitter actually um mo many many twitter users use twitter without even logging in without even having an account and it's just really understanding the value in each one and what you what they are actually meant to be um used for um it was an interesting part of the course that i just did where there it takes you through how to talk to people on different um platform. So if you just say, I sell donuts, I sell donuts, I sell donuts on each platform, you're getting it wrong. But if you say, here's some breaking news about donuts on Twitter, and here's um, a selfie of my, we with my donut on Instagram and on LinkedIn, here's the, you know, um, how donuts are affecting, you know, how the donut industry is changing and all that kind of stuff. You, you've got to talk to people differently on, on each platform. So Twitter um, I don't think it's, I wouldn't say it's going anywhere. I, you know, it's just launched stories like everyone else. <laughs> I'm like, um, Instagram. Yeah. So it's just, it's news and you've got to, you know, some people are really into Twitter. We were saying this earlier, like you, you are really good at Twitter and you kind of, you tag everyone pro properly and you use it properly. I use Twitter as more of a search tool and I search, um, about men's mental health through let's get men talking and i'll just retweet people who are promoting the same message as me it's really good for you know it's a hashtag journal request where you can just discover free pr opportunities for your business there's like um loads of uses for it and then i mean instagram and facebook um again with all these platforms it's about using all the functions so instead of having 300 platforms and just posting about yourself on them if you start using instagram um you have your feed and you know you repost user generated content or whatever your post your themes are for that and then you do weekly live streams interviewing you know people who can educate people on your product or your industry and then you do reels to have you know show have fun with it and then you do stories and question stickers and as an experiment to you know ask for your, your audience for their actual view on what you should do next and all this kind of stuff you know like get people to really support you and i think that's the thing that happened in lockdown as people started using these platforms like online and digital marketing property, they started doing webinars, they started doing live streams, they started like doing anything they could. And the same with Facebook, you know, creating groups or being a part of groups and social media became social again. It became a two way conversation for like the first time in so long. Um, we kind of, yeah, we took an interest in how we could help people. And we started having that conversation that wasn't just about me and the dinner party and what I'm good at and what I'm interested in.